Disclaimer, if listening on a smartphone, tablet, or computer speakers, you're missing out on a lot of fidelity. A stereo or surround audio system is the best choice. And for your information, I like subwoofers. Enjoy the program. Hello to all in the land of ones and o's. Welcome to the show. My name is Warren. The show highlights people behind the scenes. In the music industry, there are people that make a product, singer, actor, look, and sound great in the public eye and ear. For example, Harvey Ross Ball was paid $45 to draw the yellow happy face we all know and is used all over the world. Or a Rosalind Franklin, a de facto collaborator for the double helix structure for DNA. Or Jimmy Carroll, a musician, composer, arranger, conductor, he was born in New York, attended Eastman School of Music, and graduated in 1932. With his degree in hand, he proceeded to entertain along with his brothers Leonard on guitar, Frank on bass, and Jimmy on clarinet. They became known as the Caruana Brothers and played all over New York. For business reasons, they changed their last name to Carroll. Jimmy was born with a skill of musicianship. He joined the Army as a special service musician, and after the war, he started the Jimmy Carroll Orchestra along with his brothers. He arranged and conducted for Marlena Dietrich, Rosemary Clooney, and Mitch Miller, just to mention a few. Before we get started, here's a word from our sponsor. Make the most of moments in the sun. Copper Tone makes living in the sunshine fun. You get the fastest tan as you will quickly see. Cause nothing tans like Copper Tone naturally. So join the tan of both and have more fun. The Copper Tone line covers everyone. Get the fastest tan that anyone can. Tan don't burn, get a Copper Tone tan. That was one of the jingles Jimmy Carolyn's orchestra did for Coppertone back in the 60s. When I was a kid in Southern California, I heard these jingles at the time, and I had no clue or cared who did these tunes. It was years later that I discovered who was responsible. In 1952, he recorded an album titled Speed the Parting Guest. It was a percussion session. In other words, it was drums, cowbells, vibraphones, glockenspiels, and more. This cut has seven versions, about one minute each. Just listen. The title is Tinkle Tinkle Little Bell. Thank you. 
Now, one would ask themselves, why is Warren doing a show on a Jimmy Carroll? And Warren would say, because he was his uncle. He was his mom's brother. As we go through the music of Jimmy Carroll, I will discuss more details later on. Whoops, techno cat alert. All these recordings are the original master tapes. No records. All tapes were recorded at 15 inches per second and handled very carefully. Due to age, some of them are over 60 years old. If they had engineer Q tags, I left them in as is. These recordings have been in my possession for over 45 years. Now, a word from our sponsor. I'm Chiquita Banana, and I'm here to say, plan to make a treat of breakfast this delicious way. In fact, at every meal or with any snack, for every pat on the tummy, take a pat on the back. On your cereal, they're delicious. Ripe bananas, so nutritious. And to pep up any luncheon, take bananas, you can munch them. In calories, they're low, but in vitality, they're high. You ought to try it to make a good day even better. Add a banana to your diet. Have you tried a frozen banana? Boy, they're mighty good. In the mid-1950s, Jimmy arranged and conducted the soundtrack for Rodgers and Hammerstein's Broadway show, Flower Drum Song. Take a listen to Chop Suey. Chop Suey, BLP 13, uh, B1, take one. Chop suey, chop suey Living here is very much like chop suey Hula hoops and nuclear war Dr. Salk and Zsa Gabor Harry Truman, Truman Gabor and Dewey Chop suey Stars are drifting overhead Birds and worms have gone to bed Men work late in laboratories Others read detective stories Some are roaming around the country Others sit beneath just one tree Tonight on TV's Late Late Show You can look at Clara Bow Sweet, chop sweet, good and bad, intelligent, mad and screwy. Violins and trumpets and drums, take it all the way that it comes. Sad and funny, sour and honey, dewy. Chop suey. Lullaby by Perry Como Dreaming in my maiden form bra Dreamed I danced the cha-cha-cha Chop suey Chop suey Mixed with all the hokum and ballyhooey Something real and glowing and grand Sheds a light all over the land Boston, Austin, Wichita and St. Louis Chop suey Chop suey Chop suey Chop suey Chop suey Chop suey 
During his musical career, Jimmy was friends with a musician by the name of Mitch Miller. In the 1960s, Jimmy was the arranger and conductor for The Mitch Miller Show. The show was recorded at NBC in the 30 Rock Studios. Here is a selection recorded in 1961, titled Mad About You, sung by Leslie Uggams. <laughs> Surely fill the deep blue sea I've got those cry about him Die without him Lord, he wear am I without him Blue He keeps me walking on the floor I'm like the fool I ask for more Although I know he isn't good I wouldn't First on his list, I'd never be missed. I wish I had a dime for every gal he's kissed. I swear I'd be a millionaire. Those mad about him, sad without him How can I be glad without him? Blue He makes my dreams go up in smoke And then he treats me like a joke He's just an ordinary sort of guy And yet I love him till I die Oh, me In 1955, I was five years old. My mom and me flew from LAX to LaGuardia Airport, and we would go just about every year to visit my aunts, uncles, and cousins. While we visited, my uncles would take me to watch them work. On this trip, they were working on the Arthur Godfrey Show. Let's take a listen. Free and his friends, presented by New Viv Lipstick by Tony. Never before a lipstick so red. And now... Come with me to Arthur Godfrey and his friends as they start 1955. Follow me. Follow, 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 follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Like we're gonna have the moon tonight Follow Follow me Follow me Looks like this is the night To hold you tight Follow Follow me If you feel for me like You say you do Follow Follow me If you feel like a little kiss or two Follow Follow me Come where the willows weeping, weeping, out where the evening breezes sing. Think what the world is sleeping, sleeping, think what the night will bring. I will cling to you like the lover should follow. Follow me, follow me. Make you know that you're mine, you're mine for good. Follow, follow me. Looks like we're gonna have the moon tonight Follow, follow me, follow me Looks like this is the night to hold you tight Follow, follow me If you feel for me like you say you do Follow, follow me, follow me If you feel like a little kiss for the night Follow, follow me Ladies and 
and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us tonight. We hope that we have a little something being the first of the year that you, you might possibly enjoy. I have asked each of the cast to select a song which he or she or they think will be a big hit in 1955. So all you hep cats, all you kids who like to pick them for the year, here's a chance to see whether or not you agree with the folks tonight on, in the cast. Well, that song you just heard, Follow Me, is a brand new one that uh, I think Mitch Miller and Jimmy Carroll had something to do with. Where did it come from, Jimmy? It's not from a show, a fellow by the name of uh, Sadenberg. Oh, it was. Teddy. Thank you very much. Did you hear what he said? I didn't. Put the camera on Jimmy. I want you all to know Jimmy Carroll anyhow. Jimmy Carroll in the orchestra over there. You, you're in the, in the shadow, boy, and nobody can see you. And you're wearing a pair of phones, and it looks like you're having trouble with your ears. You, uh, will you put the phones off down on the thing and get up on the ramp and walk up here like a nice fella and let the people see you? <laughs> Jimmy Carroll. Thank you, Arthur. Now tell me, before you go, who did the Follow Me songs? Mitch Miller recorded on Columbia Records. I happen to do the arrangement. Yeah, who wrote it? A fellow by the name of uh, Teddy Sadenberg and Bill Envick. And you or, and Mitch think it's going to be a big one, don't you? Oh, positively. You don't think I did it any harm? Oh, you helped it tremendously. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye. <laughs> when they introduced me to Arthur Godfrey, I didn't know who he was. I was five years old. But what I remember most was the McGuire sisters. They were performing that day, and they said I was a cute little boy. Nice, huh? But to top it off, the Howdy Doody show was taping in the next studio, so I got to sit in on the peanut gallery. Fun times. This was the start of my knowledge of show business as I knew it in the 50s. Now the show's next episode of Jimmy Carroll the Musician will cover familiar tunes you have heard over the years, including his venture with his expertise into the Moog synthesizer. The show intro theme was composed by Jimmy using the Moog in 1969. It's our exit theme as well. Its title is Action 2. Well, till next time, bye-bye. Welcome back to the show featuring the music of Jimmy Carroll. On the last show, we talked about Jimmy's musical directions into jingles, Broadway, and television. This episode presents more jingles, rhymes, and his hand into Moog music. His skills touch so many people, including mine. 
In the late 50s, I was in his car in New York City with my cousins having a great time. Being the youngest from California, we were always teasing me. It was good fun. One day I heard on the radio a song called Running Bear by Johnny Preston. I said, who and what is that music? My uncle told me, and my cousins chimed in as well. Don't you have radio stations in California? At that point, I was introduced to rock and roll. When I got home, I started listening to the radio, and it all became clear as I dialed through the station, sharing with my parents and friends this thing called music. Now, for the record, I'm not a musician. I took guitar lessons. I'm no Andre Segovia. I wanted to be, but the skill was not there. But I did hone my skills into electronics with the help of my Uncle Jimmy. It rooted my path into the recording music industry. I built a guitar amp and ham radio in my early teens. Ahem. And now, a word from our sponsor. Here's Rosemary Clooney and Tennessee Ernie Ford for Ford. At the swapping bee. At the swapping bee. At Ford Summer Swapping Bee. You'll stop and swap, you'll save, you'll see at the Ford Summer Swapping Bee. Stop watching your old car depreciate. Stop burning gas at the old car rate. Stop paying bills. Give repairs the gate. Stop, swap, save on Ford. Swap now at the Summer Swapping Bee. Swap now, get more for your car. You'll see, get the lowest price car of the favorite three. Stop, swap, save on Ford. Save when you buy and save every day. Save on the gas and oil bills you pay. On care and wear, save in every way. Stop, swap, save on Ford. At the Swapping Bee, at the Swapping Bee, at the Ford Summer Swapping Bee. Ain't that pretty. You'll stop and swap, you'll save, you'll see at the Ford Summer Swapping B. That jingle was arranged and recorded by Jimmy, featuring Rosemary Clooney and Tennessee Ernie Ford. Rosemary is George Clooney's aunt. This next piece is Jimmy's plunge into Moog music. In 1967, Jimmy left New York City and headed for Hollywood. He shipped his studio, all his equipment, tapes, everything. Now this is where I came in, to help him move. After all, I was in the Marines, a young, strong kid that could lift heavy things. One thing led to another, and I was working alongside my uncle. In 1968, Jimmy purchased one of the first Moog synthesizers in Hollywood, along with a new Ampex 16-track recorder, and I built a 24-track mixing console. I set up the studio with his guidance, and we proceeded to make electronic music. I learned so much from my Uncle Jimmy. This next piece is one of our first attempts with the Moog synthesizer. The selection title is Love is Blue by Paul Marriott. Now remember, this is all electronic, no live musical instruments.
Techno Cat Alert. This two minute 45 second tune you just heard took about three weeks to record. There were over 60 tracks used. A 1 inch 8 track Ampex recorder along with a new 2 inch 16 track Ampex recorder were used to build up the piece. At that time we had to make a let's say violin section. Each one note at a time along with a different timber, chords. There were no violin or other presets like with keyboards today. Every note had to be built individually and it was a monophonic keyboard so there's no chords. We could only mix 8 bars at a time due to the drifting between the 8 and 16 track machines. As time went on we became more proficient. Now a word from our sponsor. The Knowledge Tree, the Knowledge Tree, follow us to the Knowledge Tree. There's always something new at the Los Angeles Library. Not only new books, but now the very latest audio text cassettes. The exciting new way to listen and learn. You take audio text cassettes home with you, just like books. And if you don't have your own cassette player, we'll even lend you one of those. The library is free to you and me, so hurry on down and start picking the fruit from the knowledge tree. The knowledge tree, the knowledge tree. Please patronize our sponsors. Tell them you heard it on the show. Rhymes were Jimmy's expertise. In the 1950s, he arranged for Golden Records. Captain Kangaroo, Sherry Lewis, with Lamb Chops, Popeye, and more. Listen to Hello Girls Hawaii. Hello girls Hawaii, hello girls Hawaii, hello girls Hawaii, hello girls Hawaii. We are full of pins, boys, we are full of pins. I tell you now as a personal friend, we are full of pins. What did Delaware girls, what did Delaware? What did Delaware girls, what did Delaware? She wore her new jersey, she wore her new jersey. I tell you now as a personal friend, she wore her new jersey. Why did Flora die, girls? Why did Flora die? Why did Flora die, girls? Why did Flora die? She died of misery, girls, she died of misery. I tell you now as a personal friend, she died of misery. What did I away, girls? What did I away? What did I away, girls? What did I away? She weighed a Washington, girl, she weighed a Washington. I tell you now as a personal friend, she weighed a Washington. This next rhyme features Captain Kangaroo and Mr. Green Jean singing Johnny One Note. B25R471B, B254, Johnny One Note composite, take six. This is the story of a little boy named Johnny who loved to sing. And he had a wonderful voice, too. But Johnny had a problem. He only knew how to sing one note. Tell us about it, Mr. Green Jeans. Well, Johnny could only sing one, and the note he sang was this. Poor Johnny One Note sang out with gusto and just overlorded the place. Poor Johnny One Note yelled willy nilly until he was blue in the face. For holding one note was his ace. Couldn't hear the brass, couldn't hear the drum. He was in a class by himself by gum. Poor Johnny One Note got in Aida, indeed a great chance to be brave. Aida? That's an opera! He took his One Note, how like the north wind, brought forth wind that made critics rave. While Verdi turned round in his grave, couldn't hear the flute or the big trombone. Everyone was mute. Johnny stood alone. 
cats and dogs stop yapping lions in the zoo all were jealous of Johnny's big trail. Thunder claps stop clapping, traffic ceased its roar, and they tell us Niagara stood still. He stopped the train whistles, boat whistles, steam whistles, cop whistles, all whistles bow to his skill. Sing Johnny one note, sing out with gusto, and just overwhelm all the crowd. Johnny one note, sing Johnny one note out loud. Johnny one note was very popular with the kids in the fifties. Now for mom and dad, a word from our friends at Ballantines. To be crisp, a beer must be icily light. Icily light, with true lager flavor, precisely right, precisely right. Lively golden, crystally clear, the crisp refresher, crisp refresher, double L light lager beer. As we end this episode of the show, one sees the musical talent of Jimmy Carroll. In the next episode, I will present more arrangements, compositions, and Jimmy Carroll's orchestra, along with the Italian connection of music and family as I knew it. Thanks for listening. Hi there, welcome back to the show featuring Jimmy Carroll. This episode will highlight Jimmy's Italian heritage. His parents born in Italy came to America in the early 1900s. Grandma Carmela and Grandpa Frank Caruana settled in New York. There they had six children, Stephen, Anna, Jimmy, Mary, Leonard, and Frank. My Uncle Steve and Aunt Millie had a son, Stephen. Then there was our Aunt Anne, Uncle Jimmy and daughter Janice, Mary and Warren had Warren <clears throat> the second, me, our happy-go-lucky Uncle Lenny, Uncle Frank and Aunt Betty had Frankie and Jimmy, and that does not include all the other cousins. There was a bunch. All my cousins worked alongside Uncles Jimmy, Leonard, and Frank from time to time. Uncle Steve worked at a factory. He was always involved, off and on, in the studio scene. And Aunt Ann worked in the back office. So it was a family affair. Uncle Jimmy in the mid-60s put an album out called Kiss Me, I'm Italian. Jimmy arranged the Italian standard songs with his orchestra with Frank on bass and Leonard assisting him. Now I'm going to play three songs from that album. Here we go! These following songs I'm about to play come from the Kiss Me, I'm Italian album. I picked these three for a certain reason. The first track is titled La Sorella, the second track is Anna, and the third track is Marie. Now La Sorella is Italian for sisters. Anna is my aunt's name, and Marie is my mom. To top it off even more, my mom was always known as Mary to all of us. When she passed away, we found her birth certificate that spelled out that her first name is Marie. And to my surprise, I didn't even know, and I'm her one and only son. Whatever. The family was always number one in all respects, even in music. I present these three tracks, a tribute to my mom and aunt. A ricciolillo mio, ci bruciano i labbri.
che bellezza dice a mamma che ha fatto un capolavoro The next track is from the Kiss Me I'm Italian album titled Il Baccio, but with a twist. Jimmy arranged Il Baccio, which means Kiss Me, into a Moog tune titled Kisses Italian Style, and it's all electronic. The tune recorded in the Hollywood studio in the early 70s. It took us a few days to record. Enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. 
Staying with the Italian theme, this next track's title is Dance of the Hours by the Italian composer Emil Carrier Ponticelli in the 1870s from the opera and ballet La Golconda. It has been recorded by many artists over the years, including, in 1940, Walt Disney used it in the dancing hippo scene in Fantasia. In 1963, Alan Sherman recorded Hello Mudda, Hello Fada, A Letter from Camp. And in 1970, Jimmy arranged his version, in Moog style, of Dance of the Hours. Again, all electronic. end of our show and I want to thank you for listening. Ciao!